So welcome back everyone to the second component we are going to discuss today is uh, the reports app in DHIS2. So uh, hope everyone can hear me and see the screen. Can someone confirm whether I'm um, can see hear this hear me and see the screen? Yes, yes. Thank yes. you very much. So we'll be discussing the report, sir. And before that, the most awaited moment, the word of the day. So word of the day for today is sharing. So we were discussing how to use dashboards to share data, share visualization. So word of the day today is sharing. Right. So next session is on reports app, where we create different kinds of reports in DHIS2. So the objectives are how we'll see how to create a data set report and how to create a reporting rate summary and how these reporting rates can be viewed in other applications and how to create an organization unit distribution report and how to, uh, how to upload resources in the system. So we'll start with the reports app overview. So this reports app consists of five modules, standard reports, data set report, reporting rate summary, organic distribution report and resources. So the standard reports are customized reports and which has a specific layout. So that making standard reports requires some knowledge on programming also. So they can be created using I reports using the Jasper report format. So this creating of standard reports, uh, we are not going to discuss today but because it's out of the scope and it will take some time and it will also need some programming knowledge. So anyone who wants to see how standard reports are created, you can uh, get the help of the DHS2 documentation also. And uh, so if you want a certain report of your format, you will have to use this standard report. And uh, we'll be discussing, we'll be starting the components with the data set report. So here it will create a summary of output of your data set values. You can aggregate data by the organic level or organic group in the same format. So this is bound with the data entry app. So in data entry, hope you can remember that uh, data elements and indicators, certain data indicators are accumulated into a data set, which you report for a certain period of time. So data set could be daily, monthly, weekly, or yearly or quarterly. Likewise, there is a frequency and you assign it to an organic where this data is reported. So what you get from the data set report is the data entered into that particular data set for a particular period for a particular organ. So we have to see the relationship between this data set and the data set report. I will share my uh, browser now. So if I go to reports app, so here we see the five components and I'm going to click data set report. So uh, we will see how this immunization data set report looks in the data set report layout and also in the data entry form. So for that, uh, I will also open the data entry form first for this immunization form data set. So if I go to data entry,
and I have to select a facility where this immunization data set is assigned. I have selected the Cardinal Hospital and you can see immunization data set. And if you go down, it is a, you can see that it's a monthly report. So if I go to March 2021, so this is the data entry form, the data entry app, you can see data is entered here and the report is completed. So if you go through this layout, there is one box for outreach sessions, another box for vaccination of children, then vaccination of women child bearing age, adverse effects, stock, cold chain. So there are different components where data is entered. So this form is pre-designed by the customizing people. You can do it in your own instance. You can create your own data entry form and add these elements into that form. So if I go to this data set report now, you can see it's the similar data you get with aggregation. So I can, I will generate this same data set. Let's say we'll start with the same cardinal hospital name. Yes. Immunization. So I will go monthly. When I first thing you had to select is the Org in it where you want to see the data set report. So you can select at the facility level or you can aggregate to the above levels. I will show aggregation next. Then you select the data set, which is immunization we have selected. Then you select what period you want. You can either select the monthly or you can select, if you want to aggregate it to quarterly or yearly, you can select above levels. Uh, currently, I will show monthly for the same period which I have opened in uh, data entry, March 2021. If I click generate report, I will see I will get the same data here from the data entry menu and on the data set report. So this is useful for aggregation. So currently there is no aggregation, but I will aggregate this into bird district. So if I select bird district, same immunization data set. So instead of monthly, I can select for the whole year 2020. So I'm aggregating the data for all these org units under the bird district for year 2020 for this immunization data set. Now, if I click get report, I get an aggregated data set report for per district for 2020. So the use of this is you can aggregate up to national level and you can aggregate up to any year. So that is how to create a data set report and the use of aggregation in data set report. So once you have created the data set report, you can either download it as an Excel or download it as a PDF. So if I click download as a PDF, I get this data set report, PDF with the aggregated data. So that is about basic creation of a data set report. And if, if you go down here, the data set report menu, I'll collapse this, you can see there's a button called show more options. So when you click that, you can see additional drop down boxes where you can select. So these are org unit dis disaggregations, like org unit groupings, where organization units are grouped into ownership type or as urban and rural. So for the data set report, you can add this additional org unit group if you want. 
for example, if you want to see data only for public organization units within the bird district, you can select public here from the ownership drop down and get report. So initially, let's say outreach sessions, uh, outreach plan 657, it's like this. Uh, all so it's all public maybe so you can see you can add you can change the ownership or type or urban rural organic groups and add to this report let's change it to private then and get report so you can see there are no reports coming from the private sector. So all this data is coming from the public organization units. I will add another disaggregation, another organic group. Let's say type, say health center and get report. So it will get data from the organization units categorized as health centers only. Likewise, you can filter using these additional options. So it's a very easy method to get a report of a data set, which is reported using the data entry for a certain frequency, and you can aggregate it to certain organization unit levels and or certain periods, and also restrict filter into organic groups. So it's very small session, a very quick session. And uh, we will go back to the learners exercise. So please go to the reports component, reports menu in the academy page. And you can see the exercises, the ungraded exercises here. You can download it and uh, We'll give you 15 minutes to generate this dataset report and you can practice on it and uh, generate add, add additional organic groups. So you can do exercise one and two and we'll start in 15 minutes. So welcome back everyone. So we're going to start the final session for today on reporting grade summary. So uh, this is the adoption in our reporting app and where we can create summary reports of data set completeness and timeliness in our app. So uh, important is you can also pull these same rates in other apps also, which we will show. So I will go to the demonstration. So I'm back in uh, the instance and uh, you can see I'm in the reports app. So we have discussed the data set report and uh, next we'll be doing the reporting rate summary component of this report set. So if I click the reporting rate summary icon, I can see this layout and it's similar to the report uh, data set report. So where I can see a place to select the organit, the data set and the reporting period. So we will see how to generate a reporting rate summary. So I will select an organit from the drop down.
Right, sorry about that. I had to log in again. So uh, I will select uh, from the animals from the animal region, the dog district, and I'm going to generate the reporting rate summary for the same immunization data set. So I will select from the immunization from the data set. So I select the dog in it, the data set. Next is for what period do I need this reporting rate summary? So I will select, I want to generate this for 2021. So I will select yearly and select 2021. And get report. So this is the reporting rate summary report. So you can see what you see here is about the completion of this immunization data set by each organization unit, which it is allocated. So if I go down, I have selected immunization for dog district for 2021 and I can see the facilities where this report should be sent and their numbers and the completion rate. For example, the hot dog primary health care center has sent 10 reports, 10 actual reports out of the expected 12. So this is a monthly report. So for one year, there should be 12 reports. So from that 12, they have sent 10 reports. So they have completed an 83.3 immunization reporting rate for this year. Mind you, this is all dummy data. So 2021, we have entered data for 10 months. And next, there are two columns. One is immunization actual reports on time and immunization reporting rate on time. So you can see there are two rates here and two types of actual reports. One is how many submitted and out of that, sorry, out of all, how many were submitted on time. So this timing is decided when you are configuring the data set. I will uh, just show you where it's configured. So when you are creating a data set, you have to give a frequency to that data set and a period for timely submission. So I will open the same immunization data set. So this is the immunization data set. And here you can see days after period to qualify for timely submission. It's 15. So after ending the month, if that the facility submits this report within 15 days, that will be calculated here as a timely submission. So all 10 reports were submitted within 15 days after ending that month. So same rate of uh, immunization reporting rate on time, same rate applies here, 83, 83. Likewise, for each organization unit under the dog district we have selected, we can see the number submitted, number due, and the rates. And we can see also a total for dog district. So dog district, there are 10 facilities, and there should be 240, sorry, 240, 20 facilities, 240 reports expected, and out of that, 170 were submitted with a rate of 70.8. So that is the organization reporting rate summary. Again, here you can have additional options Similarly, you can select only for private or public and you can restrict it to the organization unit group. So, but here, when you are doing this, 
there is a limitation for reporting grade summary. You can select only one data set here and you can select only one org unit here and you can select only for one period here. So this is one of the limitations in reporting rate summary, which is which can be overcome by using the other reporting apps, other visualization apps like the data visualizer. I will show to how to do the same thing in the data visualizer. And also another disadvantage is this uh, does not respect org unit closure. So even if the organ is closed, it will show as a due report. So I will show how to generate this reporting rate in data visualizer now. So I'm going to data visualizer now, which we have done during last week and this week, sorry, last week, last two days. So here I'm going to open one of the data, one of the charts designed for this reporting rate summary. So I will go and click open. So I'm going to open this EPI completeness last 12 months chart. We will discuss that chart now. So if I open that, you can see a similar data that is a reporting completeness as a chart here. So we will see the dimension selected here. First, we'll go to see what data dimension is. So data, we have put immunization reporting rate. So that is how many immunization reports submitted. And if I go to period, it's for the last 12 months. And if I go to org unit, it's user org unit. So I mentioned that there is a disadvantage in data set report, reporting rate app. So whether we'll see whether we can overcome this in this app. So as similarly, here also we currently see only one reporting rate, but the advantage is we can add another reporting rate here. For example, if you go to data and there is a thing called data sets here, which we might have not discussed when we are doing the pivot tables and data visualizer, but we'll discuss it now. So we select this data sets option. So we can see certain things attached to this data set. One is reporting rate, then reporting rate on time, actual reports, actual reports on time, expected reports. Likewise, there are certain items where you can select. So I'm going to select reporting rate here. And then I can select another data set, for example, the HIV monthly. So if I select HIV monthly, it will calculate automatically the HIV monthly reporting rate for the org unit. So now if I update this, now I can see two data items, one for HIV and one for immunization in the same graph. So same thing, the reporting rate, we have added another dimension which we couldn't do in the reporting rate in report module. So this one, you cannot add two data sets, but in data visualizer, we have overcome that limitation and added two data sets. So similarly, you can make a, make a table also for this same data. And if you want to change organization unit, you can add organization unit, different organization unit, multiple organization unit, and you can add any period also if you want. So that is analyzing the reporting rates using other analytic tools. So I hope this reporting rate summary is clear. 
again you can download it as an excel or a csv so you can try changing this to animal region and to get the report you can see how many reports are due for each district per districts so how many expected how many have reported likewise you can aggregate and analyze how many reports report what are the reporting rates at each level right so next we will move on to organization distribute and report so if there are any questions you can ask in the chat or in the slack we will answer them or at the end of this session so next we will see about org unit distribution report so this report is about how the organization units are distributed within a certain level for example at district level or region level so we can get a disaggregated report according to the organization unit group from this so i will generate a report and show you so that you will understand what this report is capable of so i will go to food region i'm selecting food region here so on the left side there's a place to select the region and on the right you can select which disaggregation which org unit group you want let's say ownership now if i click get report i can see all the organization units under food region according to the organization unit group that is in each district how many private facilities and how many public facilities and the total so using the organization unit groups you can generate this organization unit distribution report so this might be useful when we are preparing reports and see whether we have received all the reports and see analyze and interpret so this my report might come in handy you can do the same report as a chart within this app if you click get chart you will get a chart for the same table similarly you can disaggregate using other one other org unit groups for example type how many dispensaries healthcare centers likewise are in each district you can go up, up to national level if you want and see the disaggregation within the regions so this is a useful report when you are doing analytics so again you can download as i mentioned as a pdf or an excel that's about organization unit report and the final component we are going to discuss today is resource so sometimes you will have to upload certain resources within your dhis2 instance the most commonest example is the manuals manuals which you have made for your system so you can upload those manuals into your system let's see how to upload these manuals so these will be stored in your server so i'm going to upload one resource and see how it works so there's this plus mark to upload a resource and it will bring this dialog box very simple interface so first thing you have to give a name i will say report then you have to select a report resource type whether it's a file or a url so you can upload a link also here so i'll upload the file first next there is a button called use this as an attachment or not i will put it as an attachment and next you have to select the file so i will put this uh, maybe data set report which we downloaded I'm going to open this so i have opened added a report and i'm going to add this 
So now my report is available here. So let's see the options here. So you can either view resource, view that report, or you can change the sharing settings here. So you can add it to public access. So anyone with the logins can download this report and edit it, the resource, or you can restrict it to users like we did. So I'm going to generate this report and see what will happen. I'm going to review what I have uploaded. So this is the immunization data set report, which we downloaded, then we have uploaded it into the system. So that is a resource, a file. Let's add a link also and see. So I'm going to add uh, academy link maybe. So I will select uh, external URL this time. So now we have to add the URL. You have to type the URL here. So uh, I will add the URL of this course. Then. You type the URL here. So we're going to add this as a resource now. So there is this exam addition uh, resource with the link. So if I click that, that web page will be opening. So that is about adding resources. So it's easy to upload your system user manuals and share it with the users with this resource option. I'll go back to my presentation. So we have discussed reporting rate summary and how to generate it in Visualizer and about organization unit distribution report and about resources. So uh, that's all we are doing for today. We have located time for today. So you can do the three exercises remaining three exercises, exercises three, four, and five. And also, if you go to the academy page, you can see there's a graded assignment on dashboards. So few questions, easy questions, which I have already discussed in the lecture, so you can answer them and uh, submit this. This is a graded assignment, assignment worth 10% of your final grade. So that's all for today. So if there are any questions on what we have discussed, you can ask. Please practice the rest of the three exercises, exercise three, four, and five on the reports app and also complete the graded assignment and I wish you all good luck. And please, if there are any questions, you can raise now or you can put in the chat and the Slack. Thank you very much for listening. I'll just remind the word of the day, it's sharing. And I'm going to stop share now. Thank you.